All right, that music means it's almost time for the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. That music has been keeping us awake it really all has. morning. It's That's getting us through. <laughs> Thank you, guys. There's great food and an all-star studded concert. And we're going to learn that full concert lineup today. KPRC 2's Brittany Jeffers joining us live from NRG with the details. Brittany, we know you're excited as we are. We hear that hey. music. We get pumped. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I mean, I'm <laughs> dancing out here. It is a great day, an exciting morning. My goodness, what a big reveal that we're going to get today. But we've got to wait a little bit. And at this point, we really uh, are playing a guessing game because we only know the genres. But in just a few hours later this evening, we're going to find out which specific performers will be here and when. Largest calf scramble. The countdown for the 2022 Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo is here. Running February 28th through March 20th, it's the 90th anniversary and a highly anticipated return after a two year absence because of the pandemic. As far as the performers, four Texas artists have already been announced Cody Johnson, Bun B's H Town Takeover, Parker McCollum, and one of the made headliners, George Strait with Ashley McBride. Parker McCollum takes the stage on March 12th, and he spoke with Houston Life about what an honor it is for him to be part of this lineup. There is nothing bigger than that for me. The Houston Rodeo is, from the time I was 10 years old, but my only goal in life was to be big enough in country music to where I could go headline the Houston Rodeo. As for the rest of the performers, we'll have to wait until this evening for the big reveal. But this is a look at the genre for this year. Everything from EDM, R&B, Latin pop, and the first ever Christian genre, along with 13 country acts. So this announcement comes in the midst of a COVID spike. And of course, we know it's been nearly two years uh, since the rodeo had to originally shut down because of the start of COVID. And we did go ahead and look at the, the website. As far as this year is concerned, the rodeo says that masks and negative COVID-19 tests and or proof of vaccination are not required to attend the event. However, they do encourage all guests to continue to follow CDC health guidelines. Now, again, a big announcement on the performers, what we can expect this year. That's coming up around 7 o'clock tonight. We'll be there for that announcement. We'll keep you updated online at clicktohouston.com. Reporting live near NRG, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News. All right, we'll be waiting on that. Brittany, thank you so much.